on uh, the issue of Israel. Here you have two entirely different constituencies and they are getting two entirely different messages. There has been some kind of freak accident over at the cable news network, otherwise known as CNN. They actually reported the truth about the Kamala Harris campaign. Kamala has been talking out of both sides of her mouth, as we've all come to expect from politicians. This was not created by artificial intelligence. This is not a deep fake. This is CNN accidentally doing their job as journalists. Again, not AI. What has happened in Gaza over the past nine months is devastating. We cannot allow ourselves to become numb to the suffering, and I will not be silent. All right, well, it's a very different story for an ad in Pennsylvania targeting Jewish voters. Let me be clear. I will always stand up for Israel's right to defend itself, and I will always ensure Israel has the ability to defend itself because the people of Israel must never again face the horror that a terrorist organization called Hamas caused on October 7. Different message. Andrew Kaczynski is out front now. So, Andrew, those obviously do sound um, starkly different, yeah. to say the least. Look, this really illustrates the sort of fine line that the Harris campaign is trying to walk here in the closing weeks, closing days of this campaign on uh, the issue of Israel. Here you have two entirely different constituencies, and they are getting two entirely different messages. There are often uh, times these constituencies have very opposing views on this. If you are a Jewish person in Pennsylvania, you saw that ad that you're getting. Uh, you are getting that ad that talks about how strong uh, strong she is in Israel. If you're a Muslim voter in Michigan, you are getting that ad uh, on Facebook that's talking about, um, talking about how she won't be silent. <laughs> News chat.